This was the scene early this morning on I-225 near Alameda. After Aurora police say five teens in a stolen car lost control, slamming into a concrete barrier. Right now, we're initially thinking speed was possibly a factor in this, uh, but we don't know for sure yet. Sergeant John Merrick says five teens were ejected, four were taken to the hospital, and one was released to family members at the scene. It's unclear where the car was stolen from or when. Once we're done photographing the scene and collecting information from the scene, then what we'll end up doing is towing the vehicle and then holding it for our investigators. The crash happened just feet away from a memorial honoring victims in a different crash after five people were killed on this stretch in one day last summer. This is just an area where speed is usually a factor due to the high-speed crashes. Normally, thousands of cars travel this every day and never have any problems with it. If there are crashes, they're usually minor fender benders just due to normal rush hour and congestion. But when it is something like this, a possible rollover, usually speed is a factor. As you can see, the interstate is back open this evening. Aurora police say at least one of those teens does have life threatening injuries. No additional updates have been provided in Aurora. Evan Krugel, 9 News. Evan, thank you.